Hello, my name is Paul. In this video, I will show you how to measure PDC currents. PDC means the measurement of the polarization and depolarization currents. In this presentation, I will use 100 nanofarads oil capacitor with the voltage rate up to 30 kV. But first, why do we need this measurement at all? Since we can measure the isolation resistance and check the results in giga or tera ohms if it's okay. PDC is similar to a measurement of the absorption coefficient. The absorption coefficient uh, works uh, very well for a dry isolation, but for oil isolation they give false results, so it's much better to use the PDC method. The PDC measurement will show you whether the isolation is aging, if there is a moisture due to the oil degradation or any bad process is happening, uh, which could lead to some failure. It is very important that this measurement allows you to diagnose the problem much earlier, even if the value of the isolation resistance are still normal, good range. The conclusion of this method can be drawn by comparing the graphs made after the center, center time and uh, analyzing how the curves has changed after the week, month or year. Just uh, you first make a database of the curves of all your objects and during the next periodic measurements compare the curves with the previous ones. Frequency of the collecting historical data depends on the intensity of the operating conditions of the object. So this can be done monthly, once a year, you have to decide. This feature is new functionality in available in the MIC 15K1 meter. First we need to configure the meter, so we select the DD uh, measurement on the knob, but we will not perform the DD measurement, but uh, PDC. Holding the menu button, turn on the meter. This way we will enter the basic settings of the meter. Using arrows we have to go to select the DD measurement time. As a standard for DD measurement is set to 1 minute. For PDC measurement a longer time will be much better. I set 5 minutes only not to make the video too long. Then we will go to the Bluetooth settings, uh, we have to turn it on to be able to use the mobile application. Now the CAP. Normally to measure DD uh, we need to calculate the capacity, but when we measure PDC this capacity uh, is a problem, so we have to turn it off to s by selecting off in the CAP setting. The next setting is HV, which is the speed of the voltage rising. With uh, the fast setting, we will quickly reach the value of the testing voltage, but I use uh, normal. I'm pressing enter to confirm the setting and uh, the meter goes to the standby mode before measurement. But we, before we start measurement, I'm pressing menu button. Uh, I need to set the measurement time to set as before in the DD setting, which I set before 5 minutes. For the purpose of this movie, I put 5 minutes, but generally the rule is the more the better. Such PD PDC measurements sometimes take uh, up to sev several hours, uh, it depends on the, how large the object is. The measurement time should be selected according to the object, and in the future, for the purpose of the graph comparison, the same time has to be kept. I will choose measurement voltage of 5 kV, but this is only for the purpose of this film. The value must be selected adequately to the test object. I choose 7 mA for the measuring current. I activate the Bluetooth. I confirm the setting with Enter and the meter now is ready. The MIC meter uh, has a segment display, so for this measurement I have to use the mobile application. So right now we have to turn on the Bluetooth and location in tablet or um, some phone with Android. I start a Sonal MIC mobile application, it is a free application.
I pair the tablet with the meter via Bluetooth and select MIC 15K1 from the list of the visible meters. And now everything is ready for remote uh, measurement. For safety reason, to start the measurement, you have to drag the slider on the screen. Uh, in addition, the meter will cut down uh, 5 seconds before applying the voltage in the object. Now the object is polarized, the charging time is 5 minutes, and then it will be discharged and the depolarization currents will be measured, also 5 minutes. The screen show graph of a current and the resistance over the time. It is important during the measurement that the wires do not touch each other and do not touch the ground, and their position doesn't change. I suggest doing this measurement on hanging wires. In the application you can choose different graphs, now you can see the graph voltage and current over the time. We should also not touch the wires. The measured uh, current uh, range is nanoamps. It is so low that any interference may affect the measurement. Here you can see the polarization current graph, uh, the green line. In the beginning, object capacitance was charging. Then current decreased to very low values related to the isolation leakage current. Later, in the same graph, we will see the depolarization current. Ok, 1 minute and 54 seconds passed. I do not want to bore you, so I will jump to the end of the measurement. When the 5 minutes pass, the meter start discharge the object and the polarization current measurement begins. The meter shorts the isolations for a while, discharge the capacitance, then starting measures the repolarization current. The meter cuts down uh, from 5 minutes to 0. Now depots inside the material return to their natural positions, their original po positions, and the repolarization currents flow, of course, in the opposite direction than the ch charging current. Okay, I don't want to bore you, so I will skip the last few minutes of the measurement and go directly to the graphs. As a result of the measurement, we get the following graphs, available in the mobile application, but you can easily download it. The first waveform, uh, it's the resistance in time, it's the blue line, and the current in time is a red line. The current initially uh, is high during the charging, later it's very small. The second waveform is the resistance in time, it's blue again, and a voltage in time is uh, green. Um, measuring uh, voltage set uh, to 5 kV, after 5 minutes during the depolarization, it's equal to zero. The third waveform is a voltage in time, it's green, and current in time is uh, red. The fourth is the waveform current versus voltage diagram. The fifth is a logarithmic current in the time graph. And so the first and the third graphs of the current 
uh, we do not see anything interesting uh, we can see on the peak of the current during the polarization and almost zero uh, in the uh, end of the graph and that's why we have uh, this uh, plot of the logarithmic scale uh, and here you can see the polarization and depolarization currents the shape of the graphs and uh, basically um, how this shape change over the time gives us information about uh, what happening uh, with the isolation the sixth uh, the last tab is uh, measurement parameters okay so how to analyze it and the characteristic of the polarization and depolarization current should be more or less parallel uh, they should not cross uh, or differ uh, from each other um, the depolarization current plot sh should be smooth not uh, so tough by checking waveforms of the pdc current on the logarithmic scale over time we can determine parameters such like uh, conductivity moisture content in the isolation the oil conductivity the oil parameters aging based on the graph we can check the conductivity of the isolation by checking the front waveforms of the pdc current uh, the left side the conductivity affects uh, the polarization currents mainly in the sh very short time less than 100 seconds uh, so the higher conductivity uh, the higher current uh, value at the end of waveforms of uh, PDC current uh, on the right side we can check the, the moisture content in the isolation more theoretical uh, information you can see in the article uh, in the description of the, this movie because this is only uh, some example the, to the full picture of this uh, uh, phenomenon we can see only comparing and with such a graph after some time uh, how the graph will change okay so finally we can have a look on some examples of the course uh, after the pdc measurement of the few samples of the object uh, how the pdc course looks like in this object so uh, so we can see pdc current uh, of the oil transformer and the measurement uh, in the high voltage side here is a oil transformer measurement on the low voltage side here is a dry transformer measurement on the low voltage side Here is a dry transformer measurement between high and uh, low voltage side. Here is a dry transformer measurement in the high uh, voltage side. So here you can see electrical motor uh, measurement with the voltage 1 kV. Here you can see the PVC uh, of the electrical motor uh, using uh, uh, test voltage 5 kV. So generally uh, those were some example of the PVC curves. Now to determine uh, what's the condition of this object and the best will be to in some time uh, do again the PVC test and compare the graphs so as I already mentioned the most important advantage of this uh, type of uh, method is that it give you full picture of the uh, what happening in the isolation even before uh, any failure will appears so still the value of the resistance could be okay but uh, using this method you can determine if in the short or, or longer uh, future it will be any problem with this isolation